Hi, this is Graham from Genoms Astro and this is my review of the iOptron Sky Tracker. So what do you get in the box? So the Sky Tracker is a battery driven tracking platform and it's designed to allow you to take simple astro photographs by attaching a camera and a lens to the unit. Sells for about £300 or a similar um, amount in dollars and as you can see it's about the size of a small book and it weighs about a kilo. It doesn't come with a tripod, uh, it has a thread on the bottom so that you can mount on a tripod. Uh, first thing to notice is that it's a 3 8 of an inch thread uh, which is supposed to be a standard photo tripod size. You might want to check if you have a tripod that you have that size of thread. Um, my tripod had a quarter of an inch uh, thread and you can buy an adapter if you need to adjust the size so that you can put it onto the smaller bolt. Because my uh, tripod wasn't very sturdy I decided to, to use the tripod from my Vixen quarter mount instead and in the way of these things that needed further adaptation so I bought another uh, unit to adapt the thread from the portal mount onto the, the thread on the bottom of the tracking platform. If you look online, there's lots of different ways of doing it. People can attach these to, you can attach them to all sorts of mounts. It's not rocket science, just need to make sure you've understood the size of the bolts and find a way of uh, connecting the two together. Okay, so let's have a look at the controls. Okay, so the unit uses four AA batteries which live in a compartment behind this panel. You have an on-off switch. You have a switch to select whether you're operating in the north or the southern hemisphere. You have a one times or half times switch for tracking speed. You might use a half times if you're trying to get a shot where some foreground images uh, remain in focus. Perhaps you're taking a picture of the Milky Way behind the background of um, some object on the land. The unit has a polar alignment scope here, which has a red reticule to allow you to align with the pole star. And Ioptron have an app which is pretty good. You can download and you can then work out for a given uh, latitude and longitude and time of day where the um, alignment should be relative to the pole. Turning the unit around, you can see this is the ball head onto which you mount your camera and your tripod. It's attached by three screws and then there are various screws to allow you to rotate the ball head into any orientation so that you can point the camera where you'd like it to be. I bought this ball head with the unit, uh, seems quite good quality for the price, but I'm sure you could adapt other units if you wish from other tripods. Okay, so we attach the camera and the lens like this, tighten it up, and this is the kind of setup that you might use outside. I've got a wide angle lens, which is a good choice for wide food, wide food images, but the unit works well with a variety of lenses. So all you do is you go outside, you align the unit with the pole, and you do that by adjusting the, uh, the altitude. So there's an altitude adjustment here. You can use the unit from the equator up to 70 degrees. So you adjust that, adjust it in azimuth, clamp the clamps so that nothing moves, turn on the motor, it's nice and quiet so it won't disturb the neighbours, and off you go. Um, you're ready to go with uh, tracked astrophotographs. Okay, so is it any good? I'd say yes. The good points, it tracks accurately, must be the most important characteristic. You can put a 300mm lens on here and easily get 
one minute exposure without any star trailing. If you use a shorter focal length lens like this one, you can be quite lazy with the alignment and you can quite easily get three or four minutes without any trailing, even if you haven't spent a terribly long time aligning to the pole. So the most important thing, it tracks well. Feel quality, generally I'd say very good. It's very solid in a nice aluminium case. There's been a few comments about finish quality. Uh, generally my unit was good. There's perhaps a little bit of paint sort of scuffing here and there. Not perfect, but nothing that I would say that bothers me. Comes with some really good instructions. So there's a little bit of assembly to be done when you get the unit out of the box, putting the ball head together. All simple stuff, guides you through it very well. And the unit itself, just over a kilo, lightweight. Payload, three and a half kilos, so you can put quite a substantial lens and camera on it and um, the unit is set up to cope with that. Bad points, well there aren't really very many that I've discovered. I'd say the battery box is quite a tight space, people have commented on that, you can easily catch the wires putting the batteries in and out. So you wanna make sure you start with some fresh batteries and you don't try to change them uh, mid session unless you can avoid it and you'll have to probably realign after you've done that. Um, polar alignment can be a bit fiddly the polar scope's got about a six degree field of view, which uh, it means you can see more than just uh, a usual couple of stars that you might used to be seeing through a telescope uh, equatorial mount polar scope. That confused me a little bit. Uh, actually seemed difficult to find the pole star on a couple of occasions, but you get used to that. Other than that, nothing significant. You've got to be a little bit careful that you've clamped down the camera. If you're trying to adjust the camera, to do maybe a series of shots uh, of the Milky Way. You've got to take the weight of the camera or else it will drop. You've got to be quite careful to keep everything clamped together, whether it's the ball head or the azimuth mounts. Otherwise, you can get a bit frustrated as things start to move during the observing session. So, in summary, it's a good bit of kit. It tracks well, which says it's the most important thing. Super portable, even with a fairly substantial tripod like this, you're still just talking a few kilos. You could be outside, no trailing wires, it's very simple. You might have cable releases and dew heaters, of course, if you've got wide angle lenses like this. Those might add a few wires, but the basic setup, pick it up, take it outside and you're, you're, you're going in a couple of minutes. Overall, you get the impression that it was designed, the ergonomics of it, by someone who um, understands operating during the night in the sort of conditions that you'll be taking the shot. Probably the only bit of advice I give is not to skimp on the tripod. My tripod was too lightweight and with all this kit on top it'd be quite easy for it to topple over. So I say don't skimp on the tripod, make sure it's something sturdy, it doesn't have to be heavy. Um, of course you'll only have it fall over once before you uh, decide to adopt another way of mounting the unit. Okay, I hope this review has been helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye then.